do want to get into El Nino right now. Uh, yes, El Nino, Cynthia, I know you're sad. El Nino is dead. But there's always La Nina. Well, that's right. There is always La Nina. And so, yes, El Nino died a not a bad death. I mean, really, I mean, look at all the rain that that El Nino brought to us. So right now we've transitioned out of El Nino. We're in a neutral phase right now. By uh, next month, we'll we'll be dipping a little closer to a La Nina phase. And certainly by the end of the summer in August, we will be in a, a La Nina phase and then by the fall, we're deep in the La Nina, and then we stay in that La Nina phase as we head into the, uh, this upcoming winter. So La Nina means for us here in uh, North Texas, because it means something different all across the globe, but in North Texas, it's drier than normal, and it's uh, also warmer than normal. So that's what we have to look forward to, unless this pattern starts to shift again. Let me bring in the globe and talk about a few things that we have here for you. So the average sea surface temperatures right now have cooled to near normal or neutral conditions. So that's why we're, we're out of the El Nino and we're trending toward the La Nina right now. So we're right on the edge of a transition to La Nina conditions at this point. And La Nina is expected to develop mid to late summer and it should last through the upcoming winter. So what does La Nina do? La Nina does favor uh, La Nina summers, I should say, favor hotter than normal temperatures. La Nina uh, summers favor hotter than normal temperatures. I'm going to get to a little clarification here in just a second. But when you look at the top 10 hottest summers, 7 out of 10 were La Nina. 3 out of 10 were neutral. But remember, there's a big but here. But we had our record wet spring, and that should lower our chances of having a record hot summer. Doesn't mean it's not going to be hot. I can promise you it's going to be a hot summer in Texas, but last summer was record hot. Will it be a top 10 record setter again? Right now, with all the moisture we had for the spring, the eighth wettest spring on record, it just doesn't look like that's going to happen. 